Hello ladies and gentlemen, have you ever wondered how do you get a character model from old school RuneScape into Blender so that you can make thumbnails and animations? Well, this is the tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I'm gonna explain the following things. One, how to export a model from old school RuneScape, how to rig those models, and then lastly, how to import those models into Blender so you can create thumbnails, animations, or whatever you please. So, this is gonna all be explained in five steps. The first step is going to require you to search for the Model Exporter plugin in RuneLine. This is located in the plugin hub. Once you have that installed and set up, step two is going to require you to export the model. To do this, you need to shift right click it and then press export model. Now, if you are trying to export your own character model, you can shift right click the backpack or the armor menu and that will bring up the option to do so. Then there is the hardest part, which is actually finding the model. To do this, right click the screenshot button and then open the screenshot folder. Then go back to the parent folder and open the model folder. They're located here, but in the current state it is just a model and it's a real pain in the backside to pose and animate with, so the first thing we need to do is prep the model in Blender. Now Blender is an awesome free program that lets you do pretty much anything you can imagine, but it's primarily used for 3D modeling and 3D animation. Now step three is gonna require us to import the OBJ and delete the shadow underneath. To import the OBJ, make sure you go file and then import. Now to delete the shadow, we do this because it can cause some glitches later on when animating. And finding the correct buttons to delete the shadow can be a little bit tricky and it's really easy to forget. So make sure you go to the top left hand corner and change from object mode to edit mode. Then select the shadow, press delete. Be sure to make sure you select the faces option as well. And with that, your model is ready. So go file, export, and then save the file as an FBX. Step four is going to involve reading the character using an online program called Mixamo. This is really easy. Firstly, when you go to the Mixamo website, press the upload character and drag and drop your model in. Then position the chin, wrists, elbows, knees, and groin, and make sure you switch the skeleton to no fingers. Then hit the download button. You'll need the Mixamo plugin for Blender too, and I'll include a link for that in the description. The fifth and final step is where the fun begins. It involves importing the model into Blender in a fresh blank project. Now make sure to scale down your model with the S for super key, otherwise you run into a variety of errors. Then hit the N for naughty key on the keyboard, which will open up the Mixamo control panel. Then press create control rig, and then zero out rig, and twist and adjust and move until you see exactly what you want. If you're animating, by the way, make sure you press I for itchy to create keyframes, and that will create your animation. Now using this technique and these models, you can make literally anything you desire. And if you're wondering where is the next episode of my Iron Man series is and why it is taking so long, well, I've been making sure it's 100% awesome because it is the last episode of the season. I've been showing little previews here and there throughout the video, so be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.